they're on their way to work. But they had to beat out over 300 men in a grueling competition to get their jobs. They are among the first women to be hired as ocean lifeguards and every day must face the dangers of the ocean in life and death drama. Sometimes the toughest part is just getting started in the morning. Hi, <laughs> the prime thing that we need in ocean lifeguarding is speed and getting to a rescue victim. We don't hire the girls just because they're pretty. We hire them on their qualification. Step over the railing on a my count of three. Go ahead and step off. Okay, is everybody ready? Ready? One, two, three. We try to expose them to every aspect of a rescue that they may be involved in at some time, whether it be a boat rescue or a, a diving off of the pier or a diving off the rocks. The women comprise only 3% of all the lifeguards, but made a large number of the rescues last summer. We asked Kim for her feelings about her work. It's such a rewarding job because you're, you really are doing a service to the community and it's also in such a terrific environment. All of South Bay is pretty rough considering the amount of people that we have here. Um, nationally, I don't think there's another, you know, there's a place that's, that's more dangerous because of the type of surf we have here. I want to be an artist and I can, if I work on the beach, it's, it can be a full-time job for me, but I can really go home and have enough money to support my habit, which is art. And I, I have a love for the water, and that's incorporated in my work as an artist. So I feel like I have kind of a dual occupation, really. The main concern of all lifeguards is to save life and property at the beach. People can be pulled out by riptides and currents so far that they tire and can't get back. If the lifeguards aren't alert, it could end in disaster. We watched a couple of the girls in action, and we were very impressed. 219 from 123 and code 3 to the breakwater on rescue. We were a little concerned uh, at first, when we first hired on girl lifeguards, as to how they were going to react with a 200-pound man in a six-foot south swell. And we have found they've been doing extremely well. They've been doing as well as many of our men lifeguards. I haven't had anyone big yet. Um, not really big. About the same size as me so far. Talking about rescuing big men brought up the subject of possible romantic ties between the men and the lady lifeguards. There seems to be a small difference of opinion. Our fears were not in the fact that the, that the lifeguards would be chasing the girls because we're all professionals. Guys come on to the girls um, twice as much as girls come on to guys. And it's a very close unit, a single unit. It's not boy lifeguard, girl lifeguard. I think meeting all the guys that you get to meet, most guys like physical girls, you know? They like to... Uh... So no, it doesn't affect our social life at all. Uh, one of the girls is dating one of the lifeguards. <laughs> I haven't had anyone big yet. And like, I've met a lot of guys, and it's, it's really been interesting. One of the other girls, uh, is has recently married one of the fellows from the administration building, but uh, it's one big close unit. These women really are dedicated young professionals and risk all so that the public might enjoy the ocean and the beaches. The women are doing real well in, in this field of making ocean rescues, and we no longer have this fear of their abilities in the ocean. We have some outstanding girl lifeguards. You get a feeling of, wow, I really did something you know, I really saved someone's life. I really did something really good. You know, you have a really good feeling. It's just really rewarding inside to just say, hey, I did something all right. You know, just really good feeling. <laughs>